Hey, Kenny Joker here and we are still talking about um, how to get a lot of things done in each day and this is part three or three, this is the final part and in this part I'm going to give you six um, strategies that you can easily implement and follow. So strategy number one is learn to say no. So often we are we, we just want to say yes, we want to say yes to everything. Oh, can you can you cut the grass? Yes, I'll do it. Oh, can you pick up so-and-so from this place? Yes, I'll do it. Can you go and buy me this? Yes, I'll do it. Everything's yes. We have to learn to say no, but say no respectively. Yeah. So what I tend to do is I will, I will say no, but what I'm what I mostly do is I would say not yet. So I can do that, but not now. Can I do that tomorrow or next week or you know, a time that's convenient for yourself. And what you'll find is if the thing is urgent for somebody, they will find someone else that's going to do it or they will find a way to actually get it done themselves. So no, it's not that bad. You're actually helping people. So don't feel bad and say no, because someone else is trying to crash into your time when it's not convenient for you. So just remember, number one, say no. Number two, be proactive. Be proactive, not reactive. Try and preempt what is um, going to happen plan ahead plan uh, when you plan ahead you already know what you're going to do you know what your day is full of you know uh, between this time and this time you've got this going on you've got um, appointments going on you've got meetings going on you know where you're doing uh, if you're doing property viewings for example you go out and do your property view you've got a schedule for each one of those things so be proactive not reactive if someone is giving you something to do then you can schedule it for another time so that's how you can be proactive um, instead of reactive in that case uh, number three, always have an agenda. This is a good one. Always have an agenda before you go to a meeting. Any meeting you go to, Bill Gates has meetings for three minutes. He has a three minute meeting. That means the person he's meeting with has really got to condense what they want to say and say it in three minutes. And you'd be shocked what you can get out of somebody in three minutes. What I try to do before I have any meeting with somebody, I'll say, what are the three things that you want us to talk about? What are those three things that you want us to talk about? So then we have an agenda and we know what we're um, um, going to be meeting and discussing. So ha have your agenda ready and do that in advance. That's really key. OK, uh, what have I written here? Be results orientated. So 20% uh, of your activity will give you 80% of your results. 20% of your activity, 80% of your results. It's the 80-20 rule. So focus on... Um, results be results focused and follow through the focus is follow one course until successful focus so once you follow that through to success to success you will see that you success will actually it will come through or it, it will it will manifest um number five this is an important one take care of yourself this is uh, take regular exercise. You do exercise every day. I do um, a program called a seven minute workout, which is really intense because you think, what can you do in seven minutes? But I think it's about 10 or 12 minutes. But I do one or two of those a day and that is really good. It does uh, your whole body workout. It's excellent. It's an app. It's free. You can just use it. Um, you know, you download it from the um, Play Store or whatever it is. It's really good. So exercise every day. Drink as much water as you can. Talking of which, let me just grab a quick drink. Well, it's getting a little bit dry. Yeah, drink as much water. Always have water by your um, in your office, in your by your desk, or carry it in your rucksack, whatever, and always be hydrated because it's really important. Your brain will dry up, and you'll know, start getting a headache and stuff if you don't drink enough water. So take care of yourself. Sleep. Re do, have enough sleep. I won't say oversleep. Some people, you know, could sleep for twelve hours or whatever, but find out what the average time of uh, sleep for you is. The optimal time for sleep, and actually sleep and rest and relax. Yeah, take regular breaks when you're working, particularly when you're working on computers or you're working on things that are very intense that you have to do a lot of thinking about or you're doing a lot of talking. Always take regular breaks, move away from the environment, move away from your desk, go and have a chat with somebody, have a coffee or tea or, you know, whatever it is you may be and then come back and then continue your work. So take regular breaks. And the last and most important thing I would say is take time to reflect. Take time out. Um, I pray, I take time and pray and just thank God for all that he's doing and, the, you know, the strength that he's given me for the day. Just take time to reflect. How's your day been? What have you done? How could you do better? How can you serve people better? How could you help people, you know, in a better way? How can you give back to society, mankind, whatever it is um, that you do? But just take that time out. It's really, really good. Uh, we call it uh, TTT, take time to think. Take time to think. So just take some time out and um, yeah, that, that 
would uh, really benefit and uh, enrich your life tremendously. So this is Ken Ajoku signing out. So before I go, once again, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and remember to share the video and also comment. Share your comments below. Is this helping? Is this helping you? Because I'm putting out these videos. I don't know if it's actually helping people. Uh, let me know if it's helping you. Let me know what you do. What do you do to make your day more productive? All right, take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.